Mele Kalikimake is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. Thus spake Ben Crosby and a whole load of artists who covered his song. It's not that Hawaiian has a completely different word for Christmas, it's just that Kalikimaka is the closest that Hawaiian can possibly get to the word Christmas. You see, Christmas is a very English word, it's actually from Old English, Christus Mesa, the festival or mass of Christ. But the Hawaiian language, along with a lot of Polynesian languages, uses only a few consonants and has much more restrictive phonotactic rules. Phonotactics are the way that languages put sounds together, so naught, sort, and wrought are all possible English words, but naught isn't. You can end an English word with ng, ring, sing, thinking, but you can't start one. It's not allowed, it sounds non-English. English speakers stumble over words from languages with less restrictive phonotactic rules, so we convert them to be easier to say. It's the bane of anyone whose surname is Nguyen, which I've probably still mispronounced. Hawaiian does the same, so how does Merry Christmas become Mele Kalikimaka? Well, like this. First of all, Hawaiian does not allow more than one consonant together, no kr or sm, so Christmas becomes Carissimus. The T has vanished, because let's be honest here, when was the last time you said Christmas? Now every time there's a consonant, there must be a vowel after it, so Carissimus sa. This is what gives Polynesian languages their distinct sound, and it's why the Hawaiian state fish is a wonderfully named Homohomonoknukapua. Hawaiian has a much smaller alphabet too. It only has eight consonants. That last one, by the way, is the glottal stop. That's the sound that English speakers make in the middle of uh-oh or button. You'll notice that there's no R in there. In Hawaiian, R and L are interchangeable. Actually, they're just the same sound, and they're written as L. So now we have Meli Kalisimasa. There's no S either. The closest sound is K. So switch those over, and there we go. Mele Kalikimaka. Every language has complicated phonotactic rules. Hardly anyone who speaks them knows what they are, but all understand them intuitively if they grew up with that language. And if you want to see what happens when someone really plays about with this, check out Squirrel by Carl Eccleston and Brian Fairbairn. It's Clappy Ancrotest and Leary Sekmus Hayaped. Gebilt!